Hello guys, I'm super glad to see you today. And today I will show you new techniques for I call this lesson from house to couture. Uh, we'll start with a sketchbook, our wild books. Uh, and I will start to show you at the beginning on one which I did before and after another one which is new, which I bought just one week ago. Uh, that you can understood how it's working. So right now, as you see, I'm opening. <laughs> oh. uh, so your sketchbook. Uh, you can how you can start. Uh, at the beginning, you can uh, pause. You can do like very creative your uh, first page. After when you open, you can start uh, to put even your face, maybe even your auto portraits and some words that you like. Uh, you can you see here I wrote like Asi Grigorov presents uh, scrapbook concept development. Uh, pardon mon français because at that moment I didn't talk French so well and can't help in falling in love. Uh, and after in my sketchbook, I start to put everything what I'm doing like in the process. So for example, here there are drawings uh, which I did for my project. Uh, once I did, uh, you see, uh, for the shoot of my friends, they asked me to go and do like quick projects, they are dancers. Uh, and so I bought a uh, fur, yellow one, and then I put it on the shoes, I put it on my like friends uh, and even I color you see <laughs> uh, shoes parts and then I uh, redraw it uh, once again so as you see the more you are creative uh, the better because uh, sketchbook uh, it's something um, that help you like not in portfolio be afraid of uh, white pages so here you see I did a bit uh, another layout uh, when you have your sketches, as you see here, this is my big sketch which I did. And I did the sketch of these shoes. I uh, redraw it in different ways. Uh, what you can see here, I put like all of them are uh, more uh, here. And after I play them as an ornament. So you can do like completely different ways. Then uh, I use, you see the picture of my uh, photo shoot, which I cut to two portions. Here in a real one, uh, the picture was like this. So you see, uh, this is the real girls. And after here, it's their uh, shadow in the water. Uh, and um, in your sketchbook, you can play with it. And so I put it upside down and then I cut it because it was already print. Uh, and they call it, you see, music is my boyfriend. And I'm always saying that when you add uh, some words, it gives some kind of uh, magazine effect and you can try it. And as well here, as you see the same sketch, which I did before, uh, it's here like uh, in a bigger version. And right now you can see like whole page, uh, that how it's looking like uh, is a layout. As well, when you have your sketchbook, you see here, it's looking uh, like it's more, uh, the more like this. Uh, and after you see, uh, you can do that it become bigger. Uh, in your sketchbook, you don't need to follow small size. You can go like really big uh, and uh, you can put as well the process. You see here, it's my hands. I, I was doing some pictures during the process here, even I put here how I'm working. Uh, don't be afraid to put some pictures of you uh, because people right now, everything is so important in social media uh, and people love to see the real creator. Uh, so here, the same, uh, my shooting project, uh, I start to place it, you see, I start to cut and it's what you can do. You can take your uh, pictures, which you did, and then you start to cut them and then you put uh, together and you can add some uh, layout. Here, as you see, uh, sometimes I draw just two cassettes and after I did photocopy of them and then I put them all together. Uh, and here it's one of the another way how you can show it. Uh, you see, I start, I print my picture and then I start to draw 
uh, just directly on the person and they did it um, yeah, quite, quite playful uh, way. Uh, then uh, you see some sketches you can keep like black and white and another you can put like really uh, colorful. So this sketch uh, is the same which is here. And this is the best part of the sketchbook uh, that you can use in different formats. You can have a look uh, how it's working uh, and how they are to be like different. Oh. Uh, so uh, right now uh, as well, you can add some mood boards. Uh, you can put all your stuff together in your sketchbook. Um, because after sometimes when you lost, sketchbook helps you. You just open your mood board uh, and then you can uh, find some ideas which will give you new kind of uh, effect. Uh, and as you see, uh, at the beginning in your sketchbook, you can glue everything just on one spot as we did before, like with some sketches. Uh, and then you can put here different temps. So here, for example, it was temp which we did uh, an IFA. Uh, they gave us, um, if it's okay to have some, uh, sorry, I didn't see the message. Can you please repeat <laughs> about white space? Uh, so here, as you see, I take um, in IFA, they give us a task to take um, gilet uh, or like different, stuff which I want and I took this gilet and after I redraw it in different ways. It was from Yoji Mamoto. And at that moment I was really studying. It's super important sometimes, you know, like to redraw all the details, to compare how many buttons, uh, in which lens they are, how it's mixed. And after you do your stuff, uh, because while you redrawing, it's more easy to play with it, uh, with your own arm. Uh, sketches and then of course i did my own uh so here as you see there is this jacket for example which i redraw you see this was already mine so i go yeah from this base i cut it i put it different uh uh different uh, stuff and then I start to play with it. I did like a look. You see, it's another way of presentation. So here I took a girl and it was yeah because it was project from Jean Paul Gaultier. I took this jacket and you see I here I put like as for Gaultier <laughs> or oh, not. Uh, and then here uh, it's all that you can wear on her and you can play with it. Uh, and some of your sketches. Uh, as you see yeah, it's different way of presentation. You can up, <laughs> uh, play. Uh, and I did it in uh, many ways. We can come just more here. Uh, so here is our, another jacket which starts first. Uh, and then uh, I did like all this page with the girl. So here there are some garments which are uh, flat and some garments which are you see I'm just putting uh, directly on the girl and uh, I'm thinking always how to make layout when you put you see like framings uh, when you add your name it always uh, makes your work nice uh, here uh, it's like mixture uh, I put some of the pictures of uh, my collection, which I did at Ifer, And as well, as you see, for example, we did collage with you last time. So I put them all together. And uh, right now it's all, uh, how to say, in the one page. This is one of the way how you can uh, present your works. So you can put sometimes your mood boards and after you redraw your stuff, you can add, you see, this is some wild shoes. Uh, that I did uh, once. Uh, I did, uh, you see, it's like a girl and I was thinking that maybe she will have a lion as her uh, capuchon. And uh, here on the works, you see, I did it uh, more clear. I start to draw a bit more mess and after I redraw them all like, better. Uh, of course, it's cool when you put a uh, all your fabrics together and your like different stuff. Uh, and as well here, you see, 
uh, you don't uh, need to be, I did some instructions. Uh, so here it was meaning that uh, I did, you see there is uh, back and front of one of my shirts. Uh, after you can add over there your sleeves, which were separate, you can add them uh, by buttons. And after it was looking here yeah, like different ways. And I have here many different instructions. I have some bags, this bag I call ghetto blaster. Uh, and uh, I added and it was here yeah, all together or like this, you see. So uh, one of the way of presentation you can do, you see there was my instructions, there was front, there was back. Uh, after you can add, for example, this detail. And then at the end you have, yeah like this. Uh, so here, once again, there are my mood boards. Uh, don't be afraid to take, because some um, people are asking me, how can we put like existing design? When you are putting existing design after redraw it. When you redraw, uh, all the shapes come into your head and uh, you understand like better how to play with it. I uh, think uh, that probably you can do your personal uh, cards. Uh, you can think as well where you will present your collection. So here it was my window display. Uh, and I start to draw some stuff. Uh, here yeah, I'm explaining how to <laughs> use uh, all my instructions uh, and sometimes you have some words which are funny just write them down uh, and then play with it so right now uh, i will keep going with the sketchbook like uh, a little bit later so as you see i have here my sketchbook which was completely uh, empty and you see that right now uh, I put already something inside because I was preparing the class and I was thinking how I will view it not to forget because of course you need to play and the space is important. But when you have just normal your cover of your sketchbook, uh, then you can start to think that it will be, you know, it will go wild. Uh, you can do it like as a leopard or something crazy. Uh, and there is 100 ways of making it different. Uh, you can put it as a patchwork. Uh, you can put, uh, uh, you can put, uh, you see um, that it will be some fabrics on top. Uh, or for example, you can prepare uh, and do, you know, the more crazy you do your front, the better, because normally books are shy. <laughs> uh, shy stuff and um, they are not coming to your hands uh, so it's important to make it like cool of course it's not important but for example I know that this book uh, just because for example of this chicken <laughs> I don't know where is the symbol is uh, um, the cover is cool as black as it is you see I'm just opening but uh, I saw so many sketchbooks. So I, for example, know that it was coming from over there. You can do it as well. If you are minimalistic, you can do it very minimalistic. I don't know. You can just put a bit uh, of scotch or uh, maybe yeah, here, of course, it's not minimalistic because it's Anastasia, crazy and wild. <laughs> uh, but it's one of the ways. Uh, so after when you open your sketchbook uh, right now what you can start to make uh, start to cut you see here for example before I start I just wrote some uh, words which I'm thinking and this is uh, the coolest part I just wrote like sketchbook demonstration comedy and comprises uh, after I start to put uh, my uh, photo because it's me <laughs> and uh, when you uh, glue it uh, on the first page, just glue it on the one small uh, dot because after you can take it out. Uh, and then you can start to put these words which you was drawing before. Uh, you see, I start to cut comedies and caprices. Uh, I cut it from the magazine and then I play with it. And even I didn't know how it will work. Then I do the same part for Grigorieva Asia. Uh, and uh, as well, as you see, uh, you can put uh, many of your names. Start to play with your name because when you play with it, uh, in one moment, uh, it become 
uh, your logo. Uh, I, for example, uh, cut right now, you see like my surname is too long, like Asia Grigorio, and I just cut it to Asia Griga. You see like this. <laughs> uh, and uh, I can use it after maybe for my yeah, logo and the stuff. You can cut uh, as well funny parts. So here, as you see, I start to cut like some small um, badge parts and then I start to put and then you can put here some of the paper. So after, to show you how everything is working. I was inspired by Jean Paul Gattier, of course you know him, uh, and particularly by this corset, you know this corset was on Madonna. And then I start to cut this small part. Uh, as you remember, I did like uh, this collage we did, I show it last time. And on this collage, you see that I start to take these uh, parts of the corset and then I put them small, big, like in different parts. Then I did, I tried it in a real one. And as you see, I start to wear it, uh, I, I start to create this corset from the collage. So at the beginning, I did collage. After I cut uh, many pieces like this, uh, and then I start to collect them uh, and it's becoming, you see, like as a corset. And so here is my final corset, which came uh, just from the, uh, from my illustration. <laughs> so this is uh, one of the ways. Um, da, 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 da. So put your mood board. Uh, as you see here, uh, I start to put uh, like all the different parts. This was huge uh, mood boards. They were A2, uh, but after I did the pictures of them, <laughs> uh, and then uh, I start to put them here like separately. As well, as you see from Jean Paul Gaultier, I was redrawing this corset uh, several times to understand how it's looking better. I was trying it on the model uh, without um, drawing on top with. Uh, I was redrawing some of his uh, real garments. Uh, and then I did uh, several new um, collage with it and then I redraw one wild uh, <laughs> one wild drawing. So it's like this and you see here I was using as well details of the corset and parts. Who knows, maybe finally I can use it. So to make it more real one, uh, if you have uh, some sketches uh, from, so see uh, here, I bought from one euro, uh, different shorts and after I start to cut them and right now it's not final step, uh, but I prefer to keep everything together. Here, as you see, there are my technicals drawings uh, and uh, these are some of uh, my, <laughs> some of uh, my parts. Uh, right now to make it like Cool. You can try it on different uh, background if you have. Uh, I have, for example, and I can try, you see, I'm just playing, uh, trying, is it better on this background or this? Uh, after I can start to cut, it, to glue it. And then you can start to cut, you know, like normally in the magazine, they cut in like, uh, I'm just keeping the framing, but in the same time, it's looking a bit different. Don't throw away your words, because to be honest, sometimes your ideas, sometimes they need to have uh, some realization. So put everything at the beginning to your sketchbook. After, uh, you will not afraid of uh, white space, and in the same time, you can put it in one moment uh, yeah, to your portfolio as well and so just you see uh, like this and I'm mixing everything together for me while it was working you see after I was uh, redrawing that all fabrics will be looking on the girls like this and here uh, when I was sending to the person who was assuming that he will understand that this fabric will be like this this fabric is pink one so, and I'm keeping everything I don't throw away. I'm keeping on my sketchbook. As well, sometimes if you have some sketches, you see, you can just put them all together. 
Uh, do, 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 do. I have here. So how it's working once again? You see, this is how I start. I start to put uh, all my words in pencil. Uh, right now it's looking like a bit strange, uh, but after you can start to put, uh, you see, what is collection? How to create your collection? You are just putting, um, with cutting in your magazines you see it will be maquettes it will be my sketches it will be for sure like pieces on models yeah so this is how to create <laughs> a collection um, and after i'm just adding that it will be like makeup ideas maybe after i can put you see <laughs> uh, some images and so from uh, I call this then my precious trash. And from my precious trash, you can do, you see, uh, very easily it will be like all your pages. <laughs> this is one of the way of the promotion. Sorry, I don't glue it right now, not to yeah, spend too much time. So, uh, as well, when you have uh, your garments, you can start to draw on top of them. Because first you will understood, maybe you need to change some details. Maybe you need to add something. And then at the same time, it's like illustration as well. Put some of your uh, like real uh, denim parts um, and some of your, yeah, like works. Uh, and after you can add with some of your sketches. Uh, so here it was my another project. Uh, I did. I go to one euro shop and I bought this jacket, which was inversible. I inverse it, and there was another coat. To be honest, this was very easy. I was just combining them together. After I add the lens, you see, as it here, and I redraw. Yeah, I just do some makeup. After I put uh, the sketches more like uh, alive, and then of course I draw it clean way. When you have your sketches, you can add some background. Sorry, someone has some microphone. <laughs> uh, Jean-Baptiste? Hello? I can keep going? Right? Hi, Anastasia. Hi, yeah. Yes, you can keep going yeah. for the All moment right, if you don't have any <laughs> questions. Okay, so here uh, there is, for example, um, so here we redo one more maquette at my work. And after here, there is a technical sketch which I uh, redid, and here it's uh, everything. And here it's like all page uh, of uh, everything. Um, and here, of course, there is always with the fabrics which I need to use before we do the real garment. Real garment, you can look on Vogue Runway. <laughs> uh, and uh, as well, I have different type of works. You see, for example, once I was drawing dragon. This dragon was massive. I draw it on A2. Uh, and after, at my work, they asked me to do different uh, propositions. So here, as you see, there are all different uh, sketches. I did 50 different trials on different uh, t-shirts, after which we choose two. But here, as you see, I put them all together as well on my sketchbook with some cool uh, scotch. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, how it's as well working and here of course that i'm using technical parts and the real one because uh why i'm explaining to you there is one girl uh, uh right now rabia and she was asking me like oh anastasia do you think it's not important like um what is more important uh to make more uh technical parts so, like which is sewing is more important or sketching i'm thinking everything is impossible if it's important but it's not impossible <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and so, yeah, just keep going. Uh, so here, for example, there is as well one another process. You see, as we're doing in collage, I was taking uh, several different uh, <laughs> for kitchen uh, patchwork. Yeah, this is for kitchen. And after I start to uh, cut them, I don't cook for, I don't know, six years maybe. <laughs> and then I did, you see, a shirt. 
And I love to put it that it will be like flat sketch. And as well, I love uh, to put it on the real person. Oh, yeah, this time the model was me, but why not? Uh, sometimes the works can be different. Here, uh, there was a uh, jacket which we have in Fate Connection and I was just adding some code and I redraw it and yeah, right now as well, you can find it in run Vogue Runway, like real version. Uh, I'm putting, because here, I'm waiting how I will work it out. This is the pictures of a real shirt, which I did for Fate Connection, as you see. Uh, it's just your yeah, pictures as they are. Sometimes they are cool as well on the process. Uh, here, I will start to draw for you and show you some techniques. Uh, I just didn't prepare my belt for pants. <laughs> we can do it like this so here uh we have one jacket which we have uh, at which i did at fate connection before it was sleeveless jacket after i just cut uh from another coat you see just a sleeve uh i cut um pocket and i cut um the cover here and then i put it all together just on the maquette of course i redraw it and then uh like this uh it was the real, uh, how to say, after we did like real pattern. Here, you can start to draw it once again, as I say to you, you can add some stitches. Uh, you can uh, you can even draw here uh, some words. So for example, our uh, class is called From House to Couture, why not? Uh, because anyway, I already don't need, uh, this part from house to picture but maybe it will me provocate to create like some new crazy stuff i can add here for example maybe i'm thinking that it will be cool to add new pocket here why not go for it uh do different parts uh don't expect that our uh, uh always when you are showing to one person if someone don't like it's not meaning that your uh, works is not good sometimes you just need to have some time and maybe to show to another person and then it will have completely another uh, demonstration here i could think for example that i will do like double stitching or triple stitching so i can do it for the moment here as well you see i'm putting that there is some uh, fabrics and right now, as you see, for example, we did our collage parts, uh, start to print it in different ways. As you, as you remember, I did them all in A4. And right now they're all here uh, in uh, all their uh, sizes. There is some big, because when you put like some, for example, one big and one at the back, it's looking like they are uh, on a different, dimension and that this girl is uh, smaller. Uh, Anastasia? Uh, some, yeah? Yes, sorry, your video was frozen for a while, just so you uh, know. Okay, it's going right now? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so, uh, as you see here, you can start as well as we did before to put like some uh, backgrounds to put, of course, your name because you see, for example, I did like Asi Gregorio because when Karl Lagerfeld just put, you know, like <laughs> his name after the sketch was working. So play with it in different dimension. Uh, you can print it as I showed before, like different many times, do it big, do it small. Uh, and combine all together. Just here, I decided here yeah, to keep it more like on white because it's look all together cool. But as I show you before on another part, it's looking interesting. Uh, put, so here it was my shirt, which I did for Faith Connection. Uh, put everything that you are making. Uh, here is our theme from uh, black silhouettes. You can take, for example, your black silhouettes and put them all together in one page and after you can put you see like uh, like a connection that so here it was like small one and here 
uh, on a, a real person. And as well, you see, I was finalizing it. I was adding some background. I was putting the name. And this is one of the way of working. So here it's our Japanese team, which I as well already put to sketchbook uh, and thinking how uh, after it will work. Uh, so uh, as well, uh, you can do, uh, you see, when you have trials, uh, I did one, uh, uh, one shirt with a lot of zips it was looking like this and after I start to open them and I start to play I start to put it uh, as we did in a collage you see like on the head I was doing a picture on like this I was uh, opening it in different ways and then as you see there is like overall and there are already uh, a lot of ideas how it can be working uh, <clears throat> right now uh if you want to see like more clean version so here uh, is my uh, portfolio which i did uh, and in this portfolio i took a fabric uh, and then i did um you know when you scan your fabric you fold it and as you see when i scan it has some faults and after i put like uh, I see Gregorio here. I was playing as well. Here is like anarchy. <laughs> Why not? You can do different ways. Uh, and here uh, I start to put my first maquette, which I did. Uh, and then I put some parts, which is like, hello, my name is, your, your name is, and after you can put, I don't know, Jean-Baptiste. My name is Anastasia, and now we are friends. <laughs> uh, as well, start to put, as I said, when you are drawing your drawings uh, and when you sign it, sign it in many, many different ways. You can cut it from the, uh, um, by the collage, or you can add, you see, you can take one letter big. For example, this is my Anastasia, and here I put surname like this, Gregorio. After you can put, for example, in a special shape, your word. It always makes it uh, less uh, boring. <laughs> I would say uh, when you add sometimes not only fashion, 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 but if you are adding here some words, it's cool. Uh, why not? So here is some of the process. Uh, when you're combining everything together, you see here uh, I was drawing just uh, many, many uh, of the salopettes or combinaison, it's called in French. After I choose one the best, I sew it. So this is already from my shooting picture, but then I put it all together. Uh, and then here, there are my sketches. Uh, there is uh, some words as well, because uh, as I said, you know, for example, if you are taking, uh, if you will have a look on the 90s, you know, when there was illustrations for the Vogue and you just see illustration and the like Vogue, you're thinking, wow, it's so cool. And sometimes the sketch could be like so, so, but just because of the writing, it's becoming like, uh, much better. Uh, here there was my shooting, my first shooting which I did of my collection a long time ago. Uh, and uh, I woke up uh, at five o'clock in the morning uh, for my friends uh, and the, my friends as well because it's like the best light. Uh, I would say it's five o'clock in the morning and seven o'clock, you know, when it's sunrise and the air and when it's waking up. But in the evening, normally there are a lot of people, and so we, my friends, will want to kill me. But after we have cool project, uh, so always shoot your stuff, even if you are doing like not good. Uh, I mean, uh, you see something, you did your maquette and you're thinking, no, I need to resue it, shoot it anyway. Because sometimes on the shooting, you will not see that the stitching is not well. It's fine. Uh, and on there, you will show the mood. And after, and other people will understand that maybe you can do like more of the stuff and uh, you can have more ideas. Because the sketchbook and portfolio, it's not like to show the people, yeah, it is to show the people your, our final result, but it's to make you do completely new results. So here I put as well, you see, I did like some collage parts. Then there is my uh, real pictures, which I do one on one side and one on another side. And of course I put everywhere, Anastasia, <laughs> Grigory, don't forget. <clears throat> uh, here, it was a joke. <laughs> here there are some collage. Uh, 
I start to think that sometimes it's good, you see, when there is some many small parts uh, and sometimes when there is some big sketches uh, that your eye will always travel, you know, how Diana Rilland was saying, your eye has to travel, not be boring. Uh, here, sometimes it's cool as well to keep some white space. <laughs> Uh, because a white space, you know, to make your eye more free. Uh, but of course, after I put like <laughs> a lot of uh, another stuff, like a lot. And here uh, I took a transparent paper. Uh, I draw the boy on the transparent paper. And after I put uh, my words, it's called fashion fast food. Uh, and here was some of the uh, names you see. Uh, I was thinking, yeah, shock and therapy or like different ways and here I'm just playing and then I take the guy from my uh, shooting part which uh, it was my pants and yeah it was from my shooting and I add them together you see so here there is my collage together with my real garment uh, how you can play with your collage you can print it <laughs> uh, it's not final way when you just did the, your you see i print them on the shirts and they were in my collection as well because it was adding a lot of sense uh, and uh, you can use different kind of paper so here you see it's a transparent because i was thinking wow like black and white it's so cool but colorful is cool as well uh, so i was just keeping them together uh, and here i did the shooting you see this was uh, my shirt with my collage which i did and after it was my uh, jacket and I put all together with the shoes and right now it's like personage and during my portfolio they will be always personage be wild be wild uh, on the sketches at the beginning uh, um, because, Anastasia yeah there's a question for you from Raya <laughs> she's seen very formal portfolios uh, and yours actually look very creative uh, so which one is more impactful? Is it like the, the portfolios that you carry around with like technical drawings and wording and so on? Or is it this sort of portfolio according to you? Uh, when I was coming to Faith Connection, for example, I was bringing this one and I was bringing my sketchbook. And are, they really love all of them. Yeah. Uh, and I think you need to be more that you need to show yourself as much as you can because so, uh, I'm showing my personal creativity and this what makes me work in faith connection and not other designers are uh, because uh, it's your own presentation is the most important and I'm always thinking like this if you are doing something well go for it and sometimes if someone is not taken it's not meaning that it's only one way you can do it in different ways and after you can yeah when I was in faith connection I was thinking like wow my dream comes true uh, and my creative director Christopher De Carne, he even asked to work everyone like me in my sketchbook Mm. So it depends on you. For me, when I see like boring portfolio, it's boring. That's why I'm doing mine. <laughs> uh, because when you see like, uh, but I will show you as well. When um, I have just uh, just just to add something to what you were yeah. saying, Anastasia, because you said two important things. You said something like uh, a portfolio that would represent you, and you mentioned faith connection, and I think this is very important because. Uh, Shakila, for example, was saying, yes, this looks more like a sketchbook. Actually, uh, a portfolio really has the format that you are going to set. And it's a document that is supposed to represent you as a designer and also as a person. So now you've been following a lot of workshops by Anastasia. You know that she's super creative, uh, that she has her own format. And this is something that really represents her. And she applied for a job at Faith Connection, which is a brand that is extremely creative as well. If you guys haven't checked it out, you should check it, you should check it out on the internet. So these are a few suggestions by Anastasia. Uh, and I think this is something that can help you finding your own way to do your own portfolio. But, you know, in fashion, yes, like in any other industry, there are rules, 
but rules sometimes are made to be broken, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's for sure. Oh, your words are like fantastic. I love it. I agree with every word. <laughs> <laughs> now, someone was saying, uh, should we have different themes the, the way you did it, or can we focus only on one theme? One theme? Yeah, you, you know, like, for example, um, in, in your portfolio, like, every single one of your portfolio has a story to tell, you know, through colors, through designs. So I think what, what the student was asking right now is, this is a question from Char, is, um, for example, do you have a portfolio for a specific theme of a collection? Or maybe uh, someone else, Rabia, is asking, should I have a different portfolio for different potential jobs, for example? Uh, yes, uh, why not? Because, for example, I have as well just uh, one project which is uh, or my works from Faith Connection. And, for example, there are my real uh, illustrations which I did over there and as well some pictures which were made there and they're more in yeah, different ways. You can do as you see, like, the more you do, the better. And uh, you just need not to be shy and really to promote, to show your works. Because as well, at Faith Connection in one moment, I was showing all my works when I just came of, arrived over there. Uh, but uh, my creative director, because they were taking me uh, as a um, stagiaire, as a stash to make it yeah uh, so I was just um, so they didn't know what I'm doing and in one moment they need the sketches and they did the sketches and they put you know just in the right moment somehow everything was going well and then they asked me oh, Anastasia can you bring once again all your sketchbooks and stuff and sometimes my uh, head designer just like you know to look through and find some ideas so it depends on you just be creative just do as you wish but as what i'm showing you there is so many different yeah, ways of presentation uh as well at faith connection we have some boards which we are demonstrating our so for me the most important yeah be more creative do the portfolio as you like just keep in mind that Somehow it will go right, and then it goes right. So here, as you see, uh, I will just keep going a little bit before we finish the class. Um, here, I did. I took some of the inspiration which I like. I put them as well. You see, on the background, I cut them like separate, and then I put some words, and then I put um how to say double parts and uh, I put it here here and here the words they are going opposite side but I think it's one of the way of show, like demonstration as well which is interesting um, here uh, there are as I said uh, I love uh, when there is different kind of paper and here you see you can see sometimes there is different way of presentation your sketch I did like in computer this one uh, I put but as well I like when I just draw it by hand so to keep them together I put it on transparent paper uh, you can put everything together so here was my mood board and as well I had you see from my shooting parts it was my friend and even I cut there was another girl <laughs> but uh, it was quite ridiculous uh, collection so I keep this hand ridiculously way then I put here it's like Grigorieva and the year hero uh, in different uh, I'm doing normally, you see, I'm taking, uh, what I recommend you here, to have one page where you put all your names together and then you can edit wherever you want uh, on your and other sketches. Because uh, um, when you see, when you have your sketch and after it's your sign, it's always looking more strong. Sorry, Jean-Baptiste, you want to ask something? Yes, uh, just, just to question. First of all, Shakila was saying that you are very inspirational. <laughs> Uh, so I wanted to share that with you. Uh, there are three three questions. So Shakila teaches pattern making in, mm -hmm. in fashion draping, and she's thinking of making her teaching portfolio. Um, do you have any suggestions for her? Uh, yeah, for sure. When you teach people, the most important is that at the beginning you will make them inspired and show like the best works. 
uh, together. Uh, but as well as uh, uh, I'm thinking all the your pattern making, you can put all these parts, uh, how you create, but as well with the result, what will be at the end. Uh, think about the text because text is super important. It's like in the book uh, when, uh, yeah, the book is always interesting. <laughs> so you put yeah. your text, which will be good. You put all together your images. To be honest, I need, uh, if you want, you can, on my Instagram, I say, Grigo, you can send me um, what you have already, and I can say to you how you can arrange, because it, of course, it depends on what you have, and I will give you some recommendations. <laughs> Perfect. And then um, Priya um, was, was saying, for an undergraduate portfolio, we do not have a photo shoot or prototypes for the designs we make. So what do you suggest when you don't have these, you know, when you don't have pictures of the actual I'm... designs? <laughs> but that's what I'm thinking. But you can try. You can try to take a mannequin. You can do some manipulations. It's what I, what I was showing in the sketchbook. Uh, when you start to, uh, you can take some garments. Uh, which is existing already if you don't know how to sew. You can turn them upside down. Uh, you can put, uh, for example, yeah, uh, some like piece of fabrics. You mm. can, uh, as we did on our second class with Ifar. Mm. Uh, and then while you are doing all of this, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what this is because I'm not looking. You do several pictures of your process. Right. How putting it in different ways and then you have already yeah you can have 10 pictures of your process and this is what i'm saying you are doing pictures of what you have of the process after you print all of them after you can redraw it uh, how it will be you can draw on top of it yeah. uh, how i was showing and then you have it <laughs> uh, i just uh, i just wanted to add a little bit to uh, to what you were saying because uh, just to uh, just to answer priya in particular um you know we were saying that uh, anastasia brought these portfolios to faith connection uh you know there was um there was a connection, no pun intended, between Anastasia and the creative team because it felt like her portfolio really represented the brand. And then, you know, when we talked about brands, we agreed that, you know, you should have a portfolio for the brands that you're applying for so that it represents you. And then at the same time, the brand feels that there is a connection. That's exactly the same thing when you're applying for a school. And that's why you need to research uh, what the school is all about. For example, if you apply at IFA Paris, the portfolio that we're requiring students that want to join the graduate program is really about experimentation, drawing, sketching, photos, so that we understand where you, where you are, where you stand as an artist, as a designer. If you look at schools, a school like Central St. Martin's, for example, they are probably going to require to see specific sketches. They will want to see uh, manipulation when it comes to draping because they're very big when it comes to uh, creative and experimental draping. And someone else was asking about master's degree portfolio. So obviously when you're applying for a master program, it is understood that you would have a bachelor in fashion design or at least a related field. So when you apply for a master, I think what the admission people really want to see is completed collections, completed projects as well. So you need to take that into account because in a master program, you're going to be much more independent. So the uh, people taking care of admissions will need to see your technical drawing, and they will need to see experimentation with dra draping. They will need to see what you are able to do in terms of pattern making as well. Um, there's another question, Anastasia. Mm -hmm. uh, your, your portfolio has a very handmade feel, almost crafty. Uh, what are your, uh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, what are your insights on digital portfolio since after COVID, uh, you know, most of the placements are happening online. That's a good question, actually. Would you be able to uh, 
to put all these portfolios under a digital format. But that's what I did. If you want, uh, how to say, uh, that's what I did. Uh, if you will have on my Instagram, mm -hmm. you will see that all the, my sketchbooks, I did the pictures of them and then it was another kind of process. And then this is already as well on Instagram. And you can do, uh, for example, you know, you can do video with it. Uh, when your sketchbook is turning the pages by itself, you can use, uh, I forget how it's called. Uh, yeah, there are several, there are several formats actually. So you can do it on Instagram directly. Yeah. You can use uh, a software called Prezi as well, which is something more elaborate than PPT. Uh, you can use Flash as well for, uh, for portfolios. Uh, and nobody is preventing you also from putting together videos that are uh, showcasing the, the, the work that is on a physical portfolio uh, on a digital format. And this, my portfolio, is all digital. I put like all together after uh, on computer. Yeah. I was just showing you that on your sketchbook, when you are doing your sketchbook, you don't afraid uh to create you see and here of course uh, i was yeah uh, on the well, while i have all my sketches already with some backgrounds mm -hmm. i start even to put them on a back on another background i start to put from the collection or uh, it was even from the show i start to put the person so here as you see like it's all together <laughs> what what uh, what we saw on the previous page anastasia in the you know, in the sort of backdrop of the page, I can see some architectural sort of sketch. Was the, was the sketchbook, was the portfolio already like that or did you draw it? Uh, I draw it by hand, but after I digitalize it, no, and then I put it together. No, I mean, oh. I mean what's on the page, you know, like there's the, the outline of a building. Um, yes. I took, I took one, yeah, I took one building and then I put it um, in Photoshop, you know, that it will be just lines. <laughs> Perfect. Because another question was about, you know, photographies of pretty objects, architecture. So... Obviously, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm talking to all the participants here, you are aspiring fashion designers, but it's not because you're aspiring fashion designers that you can only be inspired by fashion. On the contrary, you could be inspired by architecture, as we said, photography, poetry, literature. Nature. So anything that can be added to tell a story in your portfolio is important. Yes, and as well, for example, we did last time, we did with you a thing which called Japanese lithography, mm -hmm. and we were using their, <coughs> pardon, <coughs> we were using their rules to make, um, sorry, I just need to drink. Um, yes, so <coughs> you were saying that, you know, in the previous workshops, you have been working on... Uh, you know, Japanese lithography. So this is also a technique that is interesting to be added within your portfolio because it gives diversity. Um, and someone was asking, can I combine totally different topics? Yes, of course. absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> um, we have another question here. I did a bachelor in business, but now I'm doing three years diploma in fashion design. So is it possible to apply for masters in IFA Paris in fashion if I have a good portfolio or bachelor is a must and which size of portfolio is recommended? So I'm going to take this one. Uh, if, you are, if you have been doing three years diploma in fashion design and you already hold a bachelor degree, you can qualify for application for the master of art at IFA Paris. In terms of size of the portfolio, we do not have any size of portfolio that we recommend to the students, simply because just like Anastasia, who did her master, we want to see the diversity and the uniqueness in all our different candidates. Uh, and Anastasia, are you back? I'm here, yeah. Okay, so there's a question here. Can we know about the pictures on your wall, on the wall on the, of the classroom? Do they work as an inspiration for you? 
Your work is indeed an inspiration. Thank you so much. So Anastasia is in our school now, and uh, this is uh, the, the wall of uh, classroom number one. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes we, we use the wall for collection development. We use the wall for uh, our students in global fashion media that have to develop uh, a magazine as well. And we like to keep it as a sort of art piece. So if you guys come over to our school in Paris, you will see a wall that has a lot of sketches by Anastasia. Another one where she, uh, yeah. Oh, we can't hear you anymore, Anastasia. Your microphone is on mute. <laughs> Sorry, we even did a wall with the students. If you want, I can show it right now, no? With yeah, all actually students. that would be great. We'll show you. Uh, Let's go with me. I will demonstrate. You. <laughs> and while you're while you're showing the the walls, I just want to uh, answer Megna, who is asking if we provide scholarship for master's program. Right now, we have scholarships and we have financial aids of twenty and forty percent of the tuition fees. So yes, you can you can apply for that on our website. So this is one of the walls that Anastasia did with all the pictures of the work that she did with the students when, uh, when she's teaching at IFA Paris. So this is at the uh, entrance of our school, actually. Yes, yeah, there is even John Baptiste and me. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe you can show the other wall. Yeah, yeah, sure, I'm coming. This is like the works of the students. Uh, and then here I have even my personal wall with my works, which you see like from the portfolio. It's in the school. Here there is fantastic uh, maquettes and stuff. And I'm just coming to the Brigitte. So here you see, guys, uh, we have special wall. Um, right now there is not everything because I took some for, for the classes, but there is big wall with all the works. Um, and uh, as you see, uh, we were doing some kind of presentation uh, as, a, uh, as a gallery. So sometimes, as you see, uh, how small I am and how works are big. <laughs> because students, as we did before with you, do you remember when we did a sketch like of A4, small parts? And as I said to you, you can take, as you see, the girl, she was doing like A4 sketch. And after all of this, we were doing photocopies. Uh, and then she did like huge um, parts. She takes some big girls and after we start to play and then it becomes a huge work like this. Uh, and once again, we don't forget that even it's so big work, uh, we are playing with some background. So we put a lot of photographers, you see here and on this part and here she put super nicely are uh, some shiny effects and it's looking if to turn uh, like it's yeah, flashes, flashes, flashes. Um, <laughs> so here as well there is some big works. I don't know, maybe it will be a little bit like um, blinking, uh, but it's fine. Uh, and here uh, all your works, I hope that maybe we will as well print them out and put them together because um, this is the gallery which come in to inspire students to make like new, crazy, fantastic uh, words. This is one of the girls, which is Rima. I think maybe she's here today. Um, and we change them all the time. Uh, so yeah, maybe your works will be here. Uh, we can put yeah, some mood boards and everything. And in, yeah, in total, it's looking like a huge gallery in the school. Like this. <laughs> um, there's one last question by yeah. Bozena be before we, uh, we wrap up our session. Um, how are the big works made? I like the, like the figure on it. Is it done on a special printer by any chance? Or? Uh, no, if you will have a look. So here there are as well super big works. Uh, as I said, if you will see, <laughs> it's what we did with you. So here are, it's the sketch which we did like on A4. Uh, and after we start to print it out, 
Uh, but in many ways, you just print in them 10 times and then you start to cut them. And then as we did on our first class, you uh, find once again your person in like crazy pose which you like. And then you start to add and you do like super massive works and it will be here like this. Just for me, one problem of big works is that sometimes they are looking in the same silhouette. Uh, so when you are working with a small uh, parts, you are really playing, you know, that here it will be uh, not like the same, but maybe your, the format will go more here or the skirt will go there. So the more you play, the better. <laughs> Perfect. And Thank I hope you will do some pictures with your works, which you will do like super huge because with what you have right now, what you did in previous classes, you can print them, as I said, 10 times. You can do really massive works. You can organize your uh, somewhere, your exhibition. Because the exhibition, it's also super cool. You can come to the cafe and say, hey guys, I have these, these works. You can show them your portfolio. You can show some of your works. And the more you are reactive, proactive, the more you show into the world, the better you'll find the job of your dream and the process will go around and round and round. <laughs> <laughs> now there was uh, also someone else um, that was asking you about the length of a portfolio, like how big does it need to be? I, th I think there is no specific size, right? Yeah. You can do it even in a, uh, you can do it A4, you can do it A3, you can do it A2, it depends on your sketches. For me, because the sketches normally are A4, it's better if their sketchbook, maybe it's A3, because normally you are putting several uh, sketches together because um, if you are drawing well them because uh, all these details when you print them too small it's a little bit how to say it's a little bit sad but in the same time it depends on you and as well, you can cut your sketchbook you don't need to take like normal format you can take a format of an apple <laughs> uh, you know uh, because as I said uh, and I think the most important of your front page, front page of your portfolio is the most important because sometimes people are just not open to it. And if it's like wild or very minimalistic, then, but there is something personal, something which will touch just like right now, this is the most important for me. The size of the sketchbook is not important. <laughs> well, and that was, uh, again, something that was very important that she said and i think we can conclude with it whether it's minimalistic or you know it's busy and extravagant in terms of look the most important thing is that well you you have a portfolio that really represents yourself uh and i'm just going to finish answering by answering one question by Shar. Uh, is there a projected date for when we will be informed that the campus will be open? Well, Ashar, actually the uh, official opening dates are already on our website. Uh, so you can have a look at, the, at those dates. Don't quote me on this, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe the new bachelors will start on the 28th of September and the MBAs would start on the 12th of October, but please have a look at our website. All the information are there. And if you haven't received any information from your uh, education consultant, please don't hesitate to send me an email. I'm just going to leave my email address here on the chat, on the chat box, jbandriani at ifaparis.com. Now, and I said, if you will do some sketchbooks, you can start to, you know, do small videos and post us here in Instagram as we do normally because I'm giving some advice and comments. So please that's go. That's exactly what I, what I was about to say. So, <laughs> uh, Natalia has shared uh, your Instagram profile. Thank you, Natalia. <laughs> uh, so please don't hesitate to tag Anastasia, tag us as well at IFA Paris. Um, and well, uh, I'm just left with thanking you, Anastasia, for always bringing so much energy and creativity to those workshops. Thanks everybody for attending another session with us. Uh, we were really happy to have you. Take good care of yourselves and we'll see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>